Hey Maxwell, I have some great news. Really? What is it Flora? I just found out I'm pregnant. That's great. I've always wanted to be a father. Congratulations. It's a girl. Yay. I'm so excited. Wait. What's wrong Flora? Let's talk at home. Okay. I'm just a little disappointed. I grew up with an older brother, and the two of us were, and still are, really close. I'm upset our daughter won't have that same relationship. What's wrong with that? Maybe her relationship with her future siblings may be like that. Okay, I'll try to get over it. Okay, is it Flora? Hey. That's no way to address your elders. Call me Mrs. Davis. Okay, anyways, how far along is your pregnancy? Eight months. And before you say it's too late, I have to get this abortion because I'll have a daughter without an older brother. What's wrong with that? I don't have an older brother, and I got on fine. My husband told me to get over it, but I just can't. Well, it's still too late for an abortion. I could be fired if I did it. Ouch. My water broke. I'm calling an ambulance. Hello, 911. I'm going into labor. Bring an ambulance to 867 8th Avenue. I came as soon as you called. How's it going? Not so good. There was no heartbeat on the ultrasound. Oh no. Sorry. Your daughter was still born. No, my whole life and dreams. Well, at least she's at peace and won't have to go through the terrible life of being a girl without an older brother. Could you stop talking about the older brother thing? Hey, I just found out I'm pregnant again. Wow. And on the 10th birthday of our stillborn daughter, of all days. Congratulations. It's a boy. Great. How does he look? He appears healthy. Do you have a name? I'd say Franklin. Oh no. Franklin looks upset. I'll look at him. No. That's my job. What do you mean it's your job? I never get to help with the baby. I'm the woman, so it's my job to take care of the kid and the house. You're the man, so your job is to bring home money to pay for the house and food. You need to know your place as a man. Hey, why does that even matter? So, it's been coming up in my head a lot. I want another child. What are you saying? It took 10 years to conceive Franklin, and I haven't gotten pregnant again since. I'm saying I want to adopt. Are you serious? My parents would never approve of me adopting a child. Mine neither, so you'll have to pretend to be pregnant. Fine. I'll do it. Let's go tell Franklin. Hey Frank, guess what? I don't know, what? Your mom's having a baby. You're going to be a big brother. Are you serious? I don't want a baby sibling. Well, I don't feel like the family's complete just yet. Okay, let's go and to see if anyone's given their children up for adoption. You go in alone. This was your idea. Okay, I'll go in alone. Hi, I'm here to see if anyone here is giving their babies up for adoption. Funny. I just received a call about a young lady who plans to give up her baby for adoption. She's in room 84, located on floor 2. Okay, I'll go there. Could you call someone to let her know? Okay, I will. Thanks. Great news. We've found someone willing to adopt your baby. Great. Who is it? Hi, what's your name? Amelia Maxwell. What's yours? 
Maxwell Davis. Funny, your last name is my first name. Yeah. I feel terrible to do this to my little baby girl. Really? Why are you giving her up? I can't financially support her. I got pregnant at 16, my parents kicked me out, and my boyfriend abandoned me. Her biological father has light skin, if you were wondering. She was born on my 17th birthday. Wow, I really feel bad for you. How are you living? I'm just staying at a shelter. The people there were kind enough to get me to the hospital when I went into labor. Wow, I feel really bad for you. Yeah, but I'll pick myself up eventually. Do you have a name for her? Yes, I think I'll name her Blossom. Blossom? I like that name. Do you think I could visit her sometime? Of course, we'll exchange contact information. Also, I can find out when you get back on track. Thanks. Goodbye, Blossom. I love you, and I'll miss you.